All right, so here's a, another example of finding a term in a binomial expansion that contains a specific term, in this case, x to the sixth. So here's the x squared plus y cubed, all of that raised to the eighth. And we want to find the term, if we expand this, we want to find the term that contains x to the sixth. All right, so but before we work it, let's go ahead, let's go over here and look at the binomial theorem. Okay, so what we have is x squared plus y cubed to the eighth. That's the problem we have. <clears throat> All right, so here's the expansion of a plus b to the n. In this case, a is x squared, b is y cubed. Okay, now n is 8. See, that would be n here. All right. And this right here is just when it's expanded out. And this is the same thing. It's just a more condensed version of the formula. Uh, we'll actually be looking at this part more so than this part. But the, the thing that we want to look at is you see this n, okay, that's what it starts out with, a to the n. And then it decreases each time until it gets to, and this would be a to the zero, until the exponent's a zero. So ours would be eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And then the b term, well, there's a b there, it's just b to the zero, and b to the zero is one, so we just don't write it. And so we've got an exponent of zero on the b, and then we have an exponent of one, two, three, all the way to n. So in this case, it would start out as b to the zero, b to the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we would end up with eight, this right here. All right, and now, <clears throat> the combinations here in front, uh, this is n choose 0, all right? It starts with this exponent, and that's that's the same thing all the way across. But it, here, it starts with 0, then it goes to 1, 2, 3, all the way to n. So this would actually be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 for this problem. All right, so this right here is what we're going to actually look at this part. That's each term, okay? That's the formula we're, we're using for each term here. All right, <clears throat> so let's see what all we have. We know what a is, that's x squared. We know what b is, that's y cubed. We know n, n is 8. So the only thing we need to figure out is what is r. All right, so, well, before we do that, let me just go over this real quick. This right here is combination of n choose r, all right, and this is the formula. It's n factorial divided by r factorial times n minus r factorial. And what factorial is, is let's say you have 5 factorial, that's just 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which that would be 120. Uh, 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which that would be 24. So that's what factorial means. And w whenever you're calculating the combination here, this n choose r, you can do it by hand, and I'll probably do it by hand in this one. Uh, but you can also do it on your calculator. Uh, if you have the TI graphing calculator, look, a, look it up in your book. The, the book that came with it, it'll tell you how to do it. If you have one of the just simple scientific calculators, well, they have a cover that comes on them. And if you look inside that cover, there's a little card there, and those usually tell you how to, how to put in a combination also. All right, so let's, let's go ahead and get started. So for, for this problem, well, let's just write down what we have. A is x squared b is y cubed, n is 8, 
and then we need to know what R is. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So A, which is this, that's x squared. B, in our case, is y cubed. N is the exponent. That's eight. All right. Now R. All right. <clears throat> so we need R for this specific term. Well, this is a raised to the n minus r. Okay, so a, which in which in our case is x squared, and that's raised to the n minus r. Okay, so well, what's n? That's eight. Okay, minus r. We don't know what r is. Okay. Now, remember which term it told us to find. It told us to find the term containing x to the sixth. So let's go back here. Okay, we want to find the term containing x to the sixth. <clears throat> now, the way that we have to write this, x to the sixth, okay, that is, remember, our a term is x squared. So that's going to be x squared raised to the what power? Well, that's going to be raised to the third power. Because remember, remember each of these terms is a raised to a power. Okay? And so we've got a raised to a power. Well, our, our term needs to be x to the sixth, which is this. So I need something that's going to make it x to the 6th. Well, 2 times 3 is 6. You see that? All right. So, because remember, remember, that, remember the property that says a to the m raised to the n is a to the m times n. All right. So what this is going to do, this is going to allow us to figure out what our R is. Okay, so I have x squared. Let me erase this. Oop. We'll leave the 3 there. All right, so what I have is I have x squared, and there's the x squared, and then what's our exponent? It's 3. Well, I have 8 minus R. So what this tells me is that 8 minus r has to equal 3. And then, I mean, we can solve it, but obviously you can see r would be 5. But we would what? We would add r to both sides, and we would subtract 3, and that would give me 5. The r's would go out, the 3's would cancel out, and so I get r is equal to 5. All right. So, r is 5. <clears throat> And now we can find our term. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to erase. I'm going to erase this because we don't we don't need it anymore. But I've got to find this with r equals five. And remember, I know a, I know b, and I know n. And all I and I had to do all of that just to find r. And so now I can plug the r in. So the term containing x to the sixth, well, that's going to be what? That's going to be n, which is 8, choose r, which is 5, times a, and a is x squared, okay, raised to the n minus r. Well, n minus r, that's 8 minus 5 times b, which is y cubed, and then that is raised to the r, which is 5. Okay, See, b is y cubed, so b to the fifth. All right, so let's go ahead and calculate this combination 8 choose 5, and I'll do it using the formula here, but you can plug it into your calculator. So combination 8 choose 5, well, that's 8 factorial over 5 factorial times 8 minus 5 factorial, which is 8 factorial over 
5 factorial times 3 factorial. And so to simplify this out, well, 8 factorial is 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4. Okay, now watch this. Times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over, and I'm going to leave this as 5 factorial times 3 factorial. Now, remember what 5 factorial is. 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So instead of writing this 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, I'm going to erase this and write that as 5 factorial. And what that does is that cancels the 5 factorial out. Okay. Now, 3 factorial... Well, that's 3 times 2 times 1, which this is what? 6. So you see this? The 3 factorial and the 6 cancel out. So this just leaves me with 8 times 7, which is 56. So combination 8 choose 5 is 56. So this is going to be 56 times x squared, 8 minus 5 is 3, and then remember we multiply exponents, so that's y to the 15th, and so that's 56 multiply exponents, x to the 6th, y to the 15th, and there's the term that contains x to the 6th. All right, so I hope it helped. Uh, check out the other videos. I'm gonna have some. I'll have. I have more of these types, and then I have some more on the binomial theorem, and then I have a bunch of other, a bunch of other ones on my YouTube channel. So check those out. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.